My name is Kain Chan, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your project to GitHub. So GitHub is a source control tool that you use to manage your uh, development process if you're a developer. So the same principle used by GitHub is used by other version control tools like tools like um, JIT or TFS. Now let's see how to upload our projects to GitHub. Again, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So if you subscribe, you'll motivate me to keep making these lessons. And also, if you have any challenge, feel free to let me know. Just tell me, uh, mention it in the comment and say, this is a challenge you have and I'm going to help you fix it immediately. So just subscribe to my channel. And if, you, if this video is okay for you, please subscribe to my channel as well. All right, so this is going to be really easy, just this step. So the first thing we want to do is to create a GitHub repository. Actually, you need to first have a GitHub account. So let's start with, um, let's create, go to github.com. Let's go to github.com. And if you don't have an account, just fill up this place, the username, email, and password, and create an account. If you have an account, just click on sign in. And for me, I have an account. I'm just gonna sign in. And at this point, I'm going to just create a new repository. To create a new repository, you see at the left-hand side, just click on new. I want to give the repository the name, the same name as the project I'm working with. So uh, to be able to do this, just type the name there and just say create repository. So it takes a few seconds. Now I have my repository created. Um, so you have this, so it says quick setup if you've done this kind of thing before, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I don't need to read the guide. So I'm going to just go to, I can click on this place and just see my repositories. You can see all my repositories. Just click on the new one we created just now. All right, so, uh, so the next thing I want to do, just click on the repository itself, okay. So I'm just going to click on this because this is like a distraction. Okay. So let's see the next step. The next step says copy the repository URL, get it by clicking on clone or download. So uh, to do that, so this is the repository URL. So I'm going to just click on it and just copy. Now there is something happening here. I'd like to let you know. Uh, I'm going to come back here. Okay, I'm going to go to repositories. I'm going to click on this. So it actually should tell me a uh, give option of clone or download, but at this point it's just uh, giving me the, the repository URL. So whatever the case, just copy the repository URL and go back to, to Spring Boot. Now Spring Boot is running. I'm going to stop it from running. So the next step is that we need to paste the repository, copy the repository URL, paste the repository URL in the Spring Boot repository view. So normally you can go to the repository view from Windows, you can go to show view and come to orders and get to JIT and find repositories right here. So just open it. Another way to get to this place is just to come here and type Jade's uh, repository, and you can just see it here on that view. You can see uh, any of them is okay. So at this point, you have. So I'm actually going to take out this from here. So what you can do at this point, at this lower left corner, just right click and just paste repository URI. So it's already pasted uh, there uh, from my clipboard. So I'm going to click on. So this authentication is important. So I'm going to just enter my username and I'm going to enter my password as well. So in that way, you'll be able to authenticate. So maybe I can store in secure store and click on next. So I'm going to branches, HTTP is empty, no problem. So click on next. So just click on, so um,
So just click on Browse at this point to choose this and just click on Open, Save and just click on Finish. So what we did just now, a master password was created. If you ever need to, do you want to provide a password hint? No. So what we need to do at this point is to now link our project to the repository. So these are projects, this is a repository. We now we need to link the two up. To do that, you need to right click on your project and choose team and choose share projects. Now click on share project, you now select the repository you created and yeah, so just click on finish. So at this point, the project is now connected with the repository. Now when you create a repository, you also have a local copy of the repository in your system. So for now we've connected the two, but now I want to push the project up to GitHub. So because if we go to GitHub now, even though we've connected the two, we don't have anything in in the repository. So if I go to projects, it's empty. So let's get back here. All right, so let's go back to this point. Let's go back. So what we can do is right click and choose team and choose commits. When you click on commit, just select everything here and just add it to staging add selected files and then at this point I'm going to say my first commit and I'm going to click on commit. Alright so at this point I could also click on uh, click commit and push but I show you that you can come come back here and then go to team and say push to upstream actually uh, there is no changes to push so uh, so let's see. So as you mean I come back, say I make some comment here. Okay, so I'm gonna save and I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to team. I'm going to go to commit. So you have something changed, so I'm going to just click on I'm going to enter new change and I'm going to say commit and push. All right, so at this point, it's now displays the push branch master. So what I'm going to simply do is to click on next. And I'm going to click on finish. So there is a repository online. So I'm going to click on finish. All right, so you can see at the lower end, it says push. Uh, okay, everything was pushed correctly. So if we go online at this point, we'll be able to see that the changes have been reflected. So let's get here. If I refresh at this point, you can see new change made 36 seconds ago. So if I open it, you'll see the SRC contains all my files, the main and stuff like that. Everything is right here. The resources is right here. So this is how to push your projects uh, to GitHub. Uh, in case you want to see the steps again, these are the steps to follow. And if you make some changes, you can just right click and go to team and just go to push to upstream and that change will be pushed to upstream. So I'm going to thank you for viewing and also like to remind you to sub subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and also leave me a comment to tell me how you find my lessons. So we'll see you in the next class.